Hello, my name is Igor and one of my friends mentioned me that my last two videos are too scientific. He told me, come on, nobody wants to 3D print a static mixer or turbulence promoter. Okay, so in this video I am designing and 3D printing a toy. The idea came from uh, the Spherical D6 dice, which has similar movement like a roly-poly toy, which when you tilt it, uh, it will always stand up in the vertical position. The working principle is simple. There is a steel ball inside, which when you tilt it, it will produce enough torque to lift the doll in vertical position. There are several versions out there, but since my wife is a Russian, I decided to design a Soviet version, so-called Nevalyashka. Since steel ball has to be inside, I have to print this in two pieces. First, I wanted to put it together using a pins, which I use with this spherical D6 dice. Uh, set screw would be better, but the problem is that standard set screw cannot be used because in the middle I need that steel ball. But then I get the idea. Come on, this is still the printing. I can design a set screw uh, on cylinder and I can use that. And uh, my next step was that I went to the local ball bearing store and I asked what is the biggest steel ball, which is still very common but for affordable price, and they told me a uh, one inch ball. So I bought five pieces for three dollars, which was cheaper than on eBay. And now I can start my design around this ball. My design I started with the sketch. This will be printed in two parts. So here we have the lower part and the upper part. So this will be the place for the one inch or 25 millimeter steel ball. And it has conical ending because uh, of the printing, it cannot finish with the spherical finishing. And uh, this part here, this is place for the set screw, which will be used to connect these two parts. And I use the revolve function to create these two parts. I added M36 by 1.5 millimeter thread. This is the upper part. This will be the place for the ball. And here it is uh, the set screw. And this is the lower part. And now you can see the screw set screw which is basically cylindrical because in in the middle i need the hole for the steel ball and then i added these arms i cut the from the upper ball place for the face and here i have to stop because now uh, i asked my daughter to draw in a uh, the sculptress, the face of the Nevalyashka. It's an STL file which I cannot uh, insert directly into this file. So what I did, I loaded, I used the insert mesh into separate file. Before I continue, you have to reduce the number of triangles of the STL file. You can do it in the mesh session. Select the mesh. And modify reduce here you can insert the face count it should be 5000 or less otherwise fusion 360 cannot handle so many triangles okay after this you can go back to solid and then uh, now you can convert this mesh to wrap okay now this body can be copy paste into my original file here but before I do, I have to disable do not capture design history. And only after that it will work. So body copy. Here I can paste. OK. And now I can join these two files and uh, I can handle this as a well, solid object. And it is now ready to be 3D printed. And this is now Prusa Slicer software where I can prepare the G code for the 3D printing. This is the set screw uh, 0.15 millimeter PLA and this is the preview of the printing of the screw. You can generate the G code 
this is the lower part only I have to rotate it okay because it, it will be printed upside down and here I would like to raise the perimeters and also the infill maybe to 30 or 40 percent because this is the lower part it can be heavier a little bit let's preview the printing okay we can generate the g-code now and let's see the upper part fine uh, here I want like I want to reduce the infill because I would like this to be as light as possible let's preview the 3d printing okay it looks good one number we have to remember and that is where I would like to add the color change 32.9 okay so here I would like to insert the color change because lower part I would like to be red and the upper part of the head will be in white so it can be colored if necessary export the g-code see are now prusaprinter.org website where they have a tool for color change so uh, I have to insert the g-code and then I add a color change 32.9 Okay, now we can download the g-code and on 32.9 millimeter layer height it will beep and ask for filming change and then the rest will be printed in white color This is horrible. My oldest daughter Nikki saw my painting and she told me this is a disaster and she wants to do it much better. So I removed the permanent marker with the acetone and she will repaint it with the acrylic paints. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to go inside the room of my teenage daughter, so we have to wait for the final result. Well, I am pretty impressed. Watch this.
and this will be the final test. I hope she really likes it. So far it's good. It looks like she likes the face. This means the painting is successful. But she don't know how to play with it yet. So I have to show her. Another successful 3D printing. All files can be downloaded from my website. And maybe I will upload this to the Thingiverse too. Thank you for watching. Bye.